Welcome to this video that describes how to create and use an application in TIBCO Cloud Live Apps. Your business performs dozens, maybe hundreds of business processes a day. Manual processes often become confused and inefficient, causing errors, duplication or rework. Using TIBCO Cloud Live Apps, you as an application designer can create an application that defines a complete process for the business problem you're trying to solve. This enables you to reuse your applications with other people, processes and other applications, allowing you to repeat your business processes with more accuracy. Meet Bob, Liam and Vicky. Bob has a vacancy in his team and needs to recruit a new candidate. Liam, in HR, needs a process to help him organise the interviews. However, Bob needs to perform the interviews. Liam needs Vicky to create an application that defines this process. He will be able to reuse this process for vacancies in other groups within his organisation. Vicky can do this in TIBCO Cloud Live Apps. Vicky can create and publish an application in Live Apps Designer, and Liam can use the application that Vicky has created in Case Management. First, let's see what the candidate application that Vicky has designed looks like in case management. Liam creates a candidate. He enters the data that needs to be recorded for a candidate, for example, name and email. Once the candidate is created, an interview invitation email is sent. Now, let's see how Vicky designed the candidate application in Live Apps Designer. Vicky creates an application. An application is made up of the data, states, tasks, and any optional actions that may need to be performed when interviewing a job candidate. In State Editor, Vicky defines the logical phases and states that a candidate may move through during the interview process. For example, selected, invited, interviewed, offered job, and rejected. The creator and action processes are responsible for progressing the candidate through these states and phases. In data, Vicky defines the data that Liam needs to record for a candidate, for example, name, email and interview score. In the creator process, Vicky creates the scheduled task that Liam needs to perform when he creates a candidate. First, he needs to invite the candidates that Bob has selected for an interview. Vicky adds this task to the creator process. Vicky configures the task to send an interview invitation email to the candidate. In exit state, Vicky configures the candidate to move to a status of invited once the send an interview invitation task is completed. Now, let's see what the candidate looks like in case management. The candidate states that Vicky defined are displayed as part of the candidate's details. The candidate's current status is invited because when a candidate is created, the send an interview invitation task is run and an interview invitation email is sent. Back in Live Apps Designer, Vicky now needs to think about the unscheduled tasks that can happen to a candidate. A candidate may be invited to attend an interview, but may not be interviewed. A candidate may or may not be offered a job, depending on the outcome of the interview. Vicky adds interview, reject candidate and offer job actions to her candidate application. Each action is a process like a creator process and so configured in the same way. In her offer job action, Vicky configures a send offer task to send a job offer email to a candidate. If a candidate is offered a job, Liam needs to create the new employee in the HR system. So Vicky adds a create new employee task. This task will appear as a work item in Liam's work item list. Now, let's see how Bob can perform these actions in case management. He can either select a candidate from his list or search for the candidate whose details he wants to update. Once Bob has performed an interview, he needs to add the interview score, so he selects Interview, adds the interview score and selects Submit. The status of the candidate now moves to Interviewed. Bob has decided that this candidate is successful, so he selects Offer Job. 
Now, let's see how Liam progresses a work item in case management. Liam selects the Create New Employee Work Item from his list. Once he has updated his systems with the new employee details, he submits the work item, as he has completed this task. The status of the employee moves to Offered Job. Vicky could have created the same application using the Create New Application wizard. The wizard is available from the Welcome screen and New Application dialog and allows you to quickly and easily create your applications. The wizard takes you through the process of adding states, data, creator, and action processes, and creates your application. Take the options from the welcome screen to learn more about TIBCO Cloud Live Apps concepts or create your first application.